is moving inmates from OCCC to Halava Correctional Facility to prevent the spread of COVID-19. OCCC continues to deal with the virus being passed between the inmates and staff inside the jail. Jen Boniza follows up. The latest effort by PSD to halt the spread of COVID-19 inside OCCC involves shifting inmates from one facility to another. I'm told it's just a handful of inmates to start, but they could move more later. I'm also told that steps are being taken to ensure that inmates with COVID-19 are not released into general population at a new facility. Oahu Community Correctional Center continues to grapple with COVID-19. In an effort to stop the spread inside the overcrowded facility, Senator Clarence Nishihara tells me PSD is transferring at least six inmates who have violated parole to Halava Correctional Facility. He says a doctor with Department of Health is monitoring the inmates. Safety precautions are being taken. They'll be sent to or triple C, they'll be put in quarantine. On the seventh day of the quarantine, uh, PSD has to retest them to make sure they're still clean. In a statement, PSD spokesperson confirmed the relocation. It is a routine process for parole violators and inmates who are found guilty to relocate to a prison to serve their sentence. There are six parole violators being transferred to Halava today. They tested negative prior to transport, but will automatically be placed in the routine intake quarantine, which is the normal process for new admissions. Nishihara says after 14 days, assuming they are still COVID-free, they'll be released into general population. Halaba has had only one inmate and one staff member test positive for COVID-19. According to PSD, the inmate is in medical isolation. Compare that to OCCC, where more than 1,200 inmates have been tested, 256 of them positive, and 53 staff also have the virus. Previously, the prosecutor's office identified roughly 300 inmates approved for release due to court orders. Action taken to avoid the spread of COVID-19 in Oahu jails. HPD confirms as of August 25th, at least 110 of them have been re-arrested for crimes or violating the conditions of their release. Some of them more than once. Nishihara says PSD needs to do more to keep prisoners safe from the virus within the prison. I think the director has to be show uh, more initiative and be proactive about what, uh, how he's going to handle population he has. Not only that, because uh, any infected population also affects the guards and the, consequently the guards' families as well. Nishihara suggests looking at what prisons have done in California to stop COVID-19, possibly setting up tents like San Quentin and Folsom Prison. Jen Boniza, KH12 News, working for Hawaii.